guys welcome back to my channel i am on my way out the door right now as i record this to go get a covid19 vaccine so i know a lot of people have questions about the vaccine and how it makes you feel afterwards what you need to do before so i'm gonna give you guys all the tea i'm super nervous um i'm a nursing mom so i am very nervous especially this being a brand new vaccine not a lot of people have had it so i don't know how my body's gonna react to it i've heard some stories so but i know this is probably the best thing for me to do i am immunocompromised plus i just want to go back to living life like normal so i'm gonna go get this vaccine today and i'll let you guys know how it goes bye okay so i am on my way right now to my job actually because that's where they are having nurses come to give us the COVID vaccine. I don't know what to expect. I mean, I get shots regularly, you know, whenever I need them. I get the flu shot every year. Um, I'm not like an anti-vaccine person, obviously, since I'm going to get it. But I'm just nervous because this vaccine is so new and nobody really knows the side effects of this vaccine. So I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm playing Russian roulette with my life and possibly my infants because I am nursing. I think I said that already, but this is just all the rambling that's that I need to do because I have so much going on in my brain right now. Um, yeah, I had to bring all my kiddos. They're all in the car with me right now playing, okay, <laughs> playing ABC Mouse. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I had to bring them and they're probably gonna sit in the car. Yeah, I don't really wanna bring them in my job, especially with COVID-19 going around might just be more sanitary for them to wait in the car. My boss told me it was gonna be really quick and easy, so hopefully it'll only take a couple minutes. Um, yeah. So a little background, I'm a nursing assistant and I work at a residential care home. So I am in the healthcare field. And because I'm in the healthcare field, they are offering the COVID vaccine to all healthcare personnel first in the state of Pennsylvania. I think they're doing that everywhere. I'm not too sure, but I know they're doing that here. So um, I'm getting it now. I mean, I've seen that a lot of doctors and nurses, especially people that work in emergency rooms have already gotten it, but residential care homes are COVID is running rampant in residential care homes as well. So it's definitely a good idea that myself and my colleagues are getting vaccinated. And obviously it was optional for anybody that may be wondering. We don't have to get it to work there or anything, but I just really feel, I don't know. I guess I feel like the risk of side effects with the vaccine is better than me dealing with COVID being immunocompromised. I just feel like it would be better for me to just go ahead and get this vaccine. I guess I'm like the test dummy for the family. So I'll get it and see how it goes. And if I'm still alive, then I'm gonna go ahead and let everybody else get it. But gotta trust the science because right now that is our only hope at eradicating this disease or slowing the spread of this disease between good scientists and healthcare workers and Jesus. Let's see what else. I know that any of you guys watching are probably just as nervous to get the vaccine or just want to know more about it. And I just want to give as much information about it as I can for those who want to know. Firsthand experience. I did not take any medicine this morning 
because I wanted to make sure that I really could tell you guys what it feels like to get it and if I have any side effects or if I get sick. And if I do have side effects, I want to know. Like I want to be able to feel the side effects um, so that if something is wrong, I can tell my doctor. I don't want to hide the side effects by you know, taking a Tylenol or an aspirin or something before I receive the vaccine. Be okay. All right, so I am pulling into the street. I am about to go ahead and go in and get this vaccine, and I will let you guys know how it goes as soon as I get back.